Hi there and welcome to another edition of Busternet. Today we are going to be taking a look at skins and a bit on training. I've been receiving quite a fair bit of questions by people asking me about the skin that I'm using. Essentially, they've been getting the Scorpio version from FM Scout. Now, FM Scout Scorpio version is actually this one, which is 1.88 and you do not see player roles on the skin. There are other skins out there that do have player roles on FM Scout. One of them is Alavanja, this skin over here. So when you get onto Mash Day, uh, you might get thrown off a bit because uh, once you hit the Mash Day screen, you won't see player roles immediately. You'll see this instead. It's um, You'll have to get into the game and that's when you see the actual player roles show up like this. The in-game panels, however, don't show player roles. So if you want to see the opposition roles, you will have to go up to stats, the stats drop down and pick opposition roles and then you'll be able to see the roles again. This used to be one of my favorite skins. I love the colors on Andromeda and the font and the opposition roles all show up. The only thing, if you've noticed, is my cursor. <laughs> You'll have to delete the cursor folder in order for it to um, go to a default cursor because for some machines it doesn't work. But the only issue with this skin is actually only the cursor for some of you. Some of you may not even see it, but honestly, this skin is the best. I love the look. So if you want to get the uh, Scorpio skin to show up player roles, you'll have to go down to the Scorpio skin on Steam Workshop, subscribe to it. So each time you start up the game, it will check your Scorpio Steam version. Now, I would suggest that if you want to see player opposition roles, you delete the one that you got from FM Scout and just use the one from Scorpio Steam. Both of them have a difference in the version number. This is version 1.8. The one on FM Scout is 1.88. The skin works fine, you know, for me out of the box, Scorpio 1.8 is fine. I have never really played 1.88 um, until somebody started asking me why the versions were different. I hadn't even noticed it. Then when you go into a game, it should happily show you all the player opposition roles that you want to see. There you go. Voila, and we're off. Alright, time now for me to look at training. As most of you probably know, training is going to be split between general training and match preparation. So, essentially, general training will then uh, split into five kinds of intensities. The set intensity you set will affect how much time a player has to work on his individual game. General training is just something that you set up for the whole team. As one, you can have a balanced training program or a focused one. But if your general training is too high, it affects um, the individual training a player can have. So if you tell a whole team to work on tactics heavily, then individually, the amount of effort they put into um, their own role training is mitigated. So they, they can't do much. One of the best ways I find is to set my general training to low and this allows me to set a focus intensity of heavy for role training so that a person can, we can get him to get the best out of his training. If you set general training to high or very high, you will notice that the overall workload will jump to heavy and when this happens, um, it reduces the amount of um, time that a person can spend on individual training. So if you're wondering why some of these attributes may not improve, it's because the player's workload is so heavy that there is little time left for him to work on his normal game. So at all times, you just want to make sure that you're looking at an individual's workload. As long as it's not very heavy, there will be development for his attributes. So generally, you're recommended to keep general training too low so that you can develop the players in your team a lot better and actually customize your team to play the way that you want them to play. This applies to youth training as well. You want to always be monitoring their workloads because if a youth player gets injured, sometimes they get injured for quite a fair bit and you are actually impeding their growth as players. When it comes to general training, you can either choose to go balanced or you can choose um, attributes to develop in your DNA of your club, like I like to take tactical and first touch. I like to call this the focus approach. I choose tactics and ball control since they are central to my DNA. 
And if you look at a player, like he's, this is a defender. These are his uh, attributes that will work as a defender, but this is tactics. It has composure there. And along with ball control, I will get uh, dribbling as well as um, compo uh, dribbling as well as teamwork added to his uh, template as a defender. So you can actually use a focus approach to get a team to play your style of football. One of the other reasons why you want to keep individual focus uh, heavy for a player is so that you can have more time to train his other stuff as well along the way, like a new position or a preferred move, because you have more. Um, available to you to train his individual focus if his general training was set to very high you would have a major problem you won't be able to find the focus to give him that kind of training if you can see uh, just training a new position takes up 40 percent of his time now if you add a ppm into the equation then his individual focus only drops down to about 34 percent this is one of the reasons why sometimes i kind of wait you know the early phases of a player i don't put ppms in directly but i make sure that he learns them by the time he's 21 but during the early phases between 17 to 19 i'm gonna make sure that they have the time to focus on developing the attributes that are going to be key to them fulfilling their potential as players well today's been a different kind of show it's been short sweet i'm looking at skins as well as a bit on training naturally we will be doing more on training if you enjoyed this show please subscribe let me know what you think uh, all the likes and stuff they're great to see and uh inspires me to do more if you have any questions you know where you can find me if you want me to cover any other topics please let me know i'll catch you guys soon see you later